What is up, you beautiful people? Welcome back to Jordan Davis Podcast. I am your host, Jordan Davis, and on today's episode, today's video, I'm going to be talking about the two clips that were released last night at the MTV Movie Awards concerning Loki and Black Widow. And I'm going to tell you if this has changed my excitement and what can we expect certainly from these movies and from the MCU moving forward. But before we get into that, I want to thank everyone that is watching this video. And for the people who are new here, I talk about Marvel, DC, uh, Star Wars, a whole bunch of videos, a whole bunch of movies, and I talk about them all. And um, if you like movies, if you just like, you know, talking about movies in general, you came to the right place because I talk about all of them. So if you like that, make sure to like comment and I would appreciate if you subscribe to this channel and it also hit the notification bell at the bottom so you know when all my videos come out so you don't have to you know wait so getting past that getting that out of the way let's let's get into Marvel Marvel Studios now um, I don't really watch MT, MTV movies awards because those kind of awards are kind of boring because I mean there's a couple you know funny things uh, they do but really it's nothing really to watch it's it's pretty much a boring show um and but this year they did uh, some uh, clip there were really some clips which Marvel Studios did at the show talking about Loki and Black Widow now I'm gonna start with the Black Widow one um, because because um, I think the Loki one is a little bit more interesting. Uh, the Black Widow one, we saw kind of a clip of kind of the chemistry of you know Natasha and her sister. And I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. I wasn't you know really into this movie all much. I was like, okay, it's another Marvel movie. I'll watch it. You know, they they always have my attention. But releasing this clip, I really enjoyed the banter of the two sisters. I really enjoyed it. I, I kind of chuckled. I was like, okay, I like this chemistry. I love the banter that they're having with each other. You know, Natasha is, is you know, bantering with her sister. It's kind of like big sister, little sister kind of kind of thing. And it was really funny. And from what I saw from the action, I think it was good. It was Marvel action, like it always is. Great, you know, great action. And um, I think this kind of gives the tone of kind of what to expect in this movie. And hey, I'm, I mean, I'm always, always going to see it, but you know, hey, I'm get, it's getting my interest back, you know. Um, because with all the COVID and all the pandemic, because Black Widow was really, really, you know, you know, got hurt really bad of it, of that, of this pandemic, because all the movie industry of the theaters closing down and moving, moving dates um, and stuff. And so it really hurt that movie. And for me, it really hurt my excitement. It was like, oh, okay, another pushback, another pushback, another pushback. It's like, it, it was just slowly and slowly and slowly pushing my excitement down for the movie. Because I thought, you know, eventually they would put it on Disney Plus. But, you know, good on Disney for really, you know, um, Keeping that uh, theatrical, you know, experience alive for this movie, and I think that the theatrical um, uh, part of this movie is going to be really great on the big screen. The, the action is going to be great. Um, the visuals are going to be great on the big screen. So I can see why they want to keep the theatrical dates because they put a lot of money into this. This is Black Widow movie. You know, um, and people, 
A lot of people have been asking for this movie a lot for many years and right when they make it, right when they're about to put it out, there's a pandemic that no one can see it. So, you know, I hope it works out for them, you know, and, and like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm back to being interested in it. I'm, I, I wouldn't say it's my most exciting movie this year, obviously. If you know the channel, Spider-Man No Way Home is my most excited movie coming out this year. But, um, for this movie, I, I'm excited for it. I, you know, I'm excited because this is, this is, um, after Civil War. So it's in that little, you know, time zone. I don't know how this is gonna, you know, move forward, the MCU. I've heard, like... Maybe in the post credit scene, it will move forward um, and make like the new, like, uh, set up with the new Avengers or the Thunderbolts, who knows. Um, but um, I'm really excited about where they go with this movie. I am. I'm more interested. You know, slowly Marvel is building up my uh, excitement. And what I have to say about the Black Widow clip, I it got me back in. It got me, you know, invested, got me excited. Uh, you know, the chemistry, you know, the two sisters, you know, I'm excited to see more of them interacting. And so, yeah, that's why I thought about the clip. Um, and, and yeah, so, um, and so... I, this clip got me excited for the movie, and it did its job. So, now, I, I, but I want to hear from you. What did you think about the new Black uh, Widow clip that premiered at MTV Movie Awards? Did you like it? Did it excite you? Did it? Were you already excited, and it just excited you even more? I would love to hear from you in the comments section, so we can just dis discuss about it. So, now moving on to the Loki clip. Um, first of all, <laughs> it was just great to see Loki. Um, Tom Hiddleston is as great as Loki, and, and it's kind of great to see Owen Wilson in the MCU, you know? <laughs> I never thought I would see today Owen Wilson would be in the MCU. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's, you know, it's MCU, it's Marvel, anything can happen. Um... And I really like in this clip how they explaining the TVA um, about how they control different timelines and uh, alternate uh, universes and they really keep things in check. And because of his uh, using the Tesseract, he kind of broke the timeline. He's breaking timelines. And... You know, he's kind of like in prison now, but I, I kind of like the fact that, like, he is helping the TVA to, you know, to build back and to make better these timelines. And it's going to be really ex exciting to see how they develop Loki, this version of Loki, because obviously the Loki that we knew, um, Leading up to uh, Infinity War, he's dead. He's gone. He he kaputs. He ain't coming back. But this Loki is from the Avengers timeline. So I, I wonder it. I wonder how they're gonna develop this Loki because um, this Loki never experienced um, Thor two. Never experienced. Um, Ragnarok and um, I'm really I'm really excited to see how they develop Loki what did he do with his character because I mean for, from the first trailer trailer I was on to this uh, um, TV series because I'm but the concept concept of Loki going into different you know periods of time 
I think it's really cool and great ways you can use Loki because obviously he is the mischief of uh, he's a god of mischief and and everything that I've seen of Loki um, has been great and I have always wondered and I kind of so this might happen that maybe this show has a lot to do with the kind of part one, part two of uh, the multiverse um, kind of story arc that we're kind of, kind of going to deal with, with No Way Home and the Multiverse of Madness. So, I kind of wonder if this is more of a, of this is more of a prequel or a prologue to those movies because. Was WandaVision, it was pretty much self-contained. Um, it was pretty much all about uh, Wanda. And the only thing that really teased uh, No Way Home or the Multiverse of Madness, it was more the Multiverse of Madness than No Way Home that of that post credit scene at, at the end of the last episode of WandaVision. And so, and like I said, um, you could took that post credit scene totally out, and you wouldn't know that WandaVision is connected in some way, somehow, to No Way Home and the Multiverse of Madness. And so, yet, I, I think, I'm thinking now, I could be totally wrong, that um, Loki is more of a better setup for No Way Home and Multiverse of Madness because the, cause this show is dealing with uh, multiple timelines, multiverse, multiverse um, alternate worlds, you know, um, and so I think that would, I think this show would be, you know, you could put it like Loki, No Way Home, the Multiverse of Madness. I think that would be more of a, a of a better setup than WandaVision was, because they kind of allude to some stuff that, but not really confirmed. They were very sneaky with it, you know. Um, but um, I think Loki is going to be more of a setup to No Way Home and Multiverse of Madness, and so I. I could be totally wrong, but from my from my theories and my speculation, I think that's what Loki's going to do. I think it's going to set up uh, Spider-Man and Doctor Strange 2 a lot more better. And I'm excited to see Loki. I'm excited, not just, you know, the development, the, um, the story, um, but I'm excited how... how different Loki is going to be from WandaVision and um, and how different it's going to be from Falcon the Winter Soldier and so that's what got me excited uh, to see Loki and, and this clip just got me even more excited to see this and how it's going to connect to the future of everything and so and so yeah um, yeah I really like this uh, clip I really like the clip uh, from the Loki TV show, and so yeah. But I want to I want to hear from you. What did you think of the uh, Loki um, Loki clip from the MTV uh, Movie Awards? Did you like it? Did you get it? Did you get excited? Do you think this is going to connect more to No Way Home in the Multiverse of Madness? Is it is is this going to be more of a setup? to those movies than WandaVision was. I would love to hear from you in the comments below. I can't wait to discuss this uh, topic with you. And, um, and so yeah, that's going to be the end of this video today. Um, I want to thank all of you for watching this video. And like I said, if you're new here, I do Marvel, DC, Star Wars, all kind of movies, um, even do TV shows. Um, and so, um, if you like that kind of thing, make sure to like, 
comment, and subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell at the bottom so you know every video that comes out, so you don't miss one. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching the video, and until next time, until the next video, I'll see you later.